So today we're going to be looking at calculating the percentage of a quantity and all of these examples um, are going to be done without a calculator. So the first thing we're going to look at is common percentages. So you can see the list of percentages here and when we get to calculating the percentage of an amount or quantity it's much easier to think of the percentage as a fraction and that's going to help us figure out what we need to do to calculate the percentage. So this table here are of common percentages and I would like you to copy it down and remember it as best you can because we're going to be referring to these percentages throughout the examples. So the first one, 10% as a fraction is 1 over 10, 20% as a fraction is 1 fifth, 25% is a quarter, 50% is a half. This funny looking percentage here, 33 and a third, okay, that's just a third as a fraction. Okay, it's rounded up because, you know, all percentages are out of 100. So if you divided 100 by 3, you would get 33 and a third percent. So that's where the third comes from. Um, 66 and two thirds percent. Again, a funny looking one, but that means two thirds. And then last one, 75 percent is three quarters. So this 66 and two thirds percent. That's double 33 in the third, so that's where the two thirds comes from. And then 75%, that's three lots of 25, isn't it? Because 25 add 25 add 25 gives you 75. So that's where the three quarters comes from. Um, so if you pause the video here and copy these down. Okay, hopefully you have copied that down. Let's look at the first example. So we've been asked to find 10% of £125. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to change our percentage into a fraction. So using the table that we just copied down um, or your previous knowledge, you know that 10% is one tenth. So we're going to essentially be finding 10, uh, one tenth of 125. Okay, And then to find one tenth, we divide by 10. So to find a tenth of 125, we're going to do 125 divided by 10 and for your final answer. So we will be doing these calculations without a calculator and um, remembering your unit. So we are working with money here. So your answer needs to represent money. So you're going to add your pound symbol and because you would have had 12.5, you're adding a zero on there as well. So 12.50. Um, so 10% of 125 pounds is 12.50. Okay, let's look at another example. So, um, next one, we're going to be finding 25% of 120 pounds. Again, um, if this video is going too fast, you know, go back, pause it, copy the example down, and just do what you need to do to follow the examples. Okay, 25% of 120 pounds. First step, we're going to change 25% to a fraction. And using either your previous knowledge or looking at the table, you will see that 25% is a quarter. So we're going to be finding a quarter of 120 pounds. And to find a quarter of something, we are going to divide by four. So we're going to do 120 divided by four. And again, remember your units and your answer. So 120 divided by four is 30. And you need your pound symbol there because we were dealing with money in this question. So again, pause this video if you need to copy this down. And example three, find 20% of £85. So same as the previous two examples, we're going to always start by converting or changing our percentage to a fraction. So we've got 20% and we're going to find one fifth of 85 and to find a fifth of something, because 20% sorry is a fifth, we are going to divide by five to find a fifth. Um, so we're dividing by five. Remember, we are not using a calculator. So if you need to draw out your division step to do this, that is absolutely fine. Okay, I would strongly recommend you doing that just to make sure you get the right answer. So 85 divided by five. And remember your units because I've got money this time is 17 pounds. Okay. Okay, example four. This time we are going to figure out what 75% of 240 pounds is. We're going to start, as always, by changing our percentage to a fraction. 
So to do that, using your table or your previous knowledge, you will see that 75% is 3 quarters. So we're going to find out what 3 quarters of 240 is. And to find out 3 quarters, we are first going to find out what 1 quarter is by dividing by 4. And then we are going to multiply, multiply by 3. So we're going to find out what 1 quarter is and then we're going to multiply by 3 to figure out what 3 quarters is. So we're going to do 240 and we're going to divide that by 4 and then we are going to times that by 3. So 240 divided by 4, you know, do your division step if needed. So 60 and then we're going to times it by 3 to get 180. And it's money, so we need to remember our pound symbol. Okay, so three quarters, divide by the bottom, times by the top. You'll have to use your knowledge of finding a fraction of a quantity for these questions. Okay, I would like you to pause the video here and try these five questions using the table of percentage values to help you. So pause now and give these a go. Okay, hopefully you have unpaused and managed to give them a go. So, uh, first one, 10% of 40. We're going to change the 10% to a fraction, which is a tenth, and then find a tenth of 40 by dividing by 10. So you should have four pounds. Second one, 25% of 150 pounds. So 25, uh, sorry, 20%, 20% as a fraction is a fifth. So you're going to divide by five to get 30 pounds. 75% of 160, so 75% is 3 quarters, so you're going to divide 160 by 4 to get 40, and then times by 3 to get 120 pounds. So well done if you got that one. Question 4, 50% of 48, we're going to find out what half of 48 is to get 24 pounds. And last question, 33 and a third percent, using your table from the start you'll see that 33 and a third is just a third so we're going to find a third of 240 which is 80 pounds okay well done if you got all or most of them correct good work okay we've got a second task now this time again we're just practicing finding the um, percentage of these quantities can you pause the video here and match up the questions to the answers Okay, let's see the answer. So, first one, 20% of 35, we're going to find a fifth. So, let me write that down. So, um, so 20% is a fifth, so we're going to find a fifth of 35 by dividing by 5 to get £7. 10% is a tenth, so we're finding a tenth of 700 to get 70. 25% is a quarter. So we are going to divide 124 by 4. Then 50% is a half. So we're going to half 8,400 to get 4,200. And 66 and a third percent is two thirds. So what you're going to do is you're going to take 60 and you're going to divide it by 3. And then you're going to times it by 2. So you should have got um, 60 divided by 3. So 20 times 2. And that's where the £40 comes from. So well done if you got that last one. Okay, we've got two more examples to look at. Sorry, one more example. Um, you might see percentages. So percentages of a quantity are, you might see them all around when you're in the shops. And all to do with sale prices. So this example here, we have a t-shirt and it's on sale for 25% off. We're going to use our knowledge of now finding percentages of a quantity to figure out what the sale price is. So if you took that t-shirt to the till, how much would you end up paying if it was 25% off? And we're going to start by figuring out what 25% of your £12 is. So if it's originally £12 
we're going to find out what 25% of the 12 is. And we know that that's a quarter, so we need to find a quarter of 12. So um, to find a quarter of 12, you're going to divide by 3, and um, divide by 4, sorry, to get £3. So we know that if it's 25% off, that means that we're going to be taking £3 off. So this £3 is not your answer. Our final answer is we need to take the original price and take off our discount because this is a discounted price here so we need to take off the discount and be left with nine pounds so if you take that t-shirt to the till you will pay nine pounds in the sale so for these questions you need to figure out what the percentage is and then read your question carefully and decide what you need to do in that final step so if you pause the video and can you try and work out the sale price of this football here? So the normal cost is £16. There's a sale on for 25% off. So what is the sale price? So if you pause now. Okay, so we need to figure out what 25% of £16 is. 25% as a fraction is a quarter so we're going to find a quarter of 16 pounds and to find a quarter you're going to divide that by four to get four pounds we've not finished that's not our final step what we need to do is actually figure out what the sale price is by taking away that four pounds so 16 take away four gives us 12 pounds so these are sale prices which we are taking away the value but you may come across some examples where you have to add the percentage on so let's say you were in the shop and you bought a packet of crisps that had 50% extra free inside. You would find out what 50% is and then add it on. So it's all about being able to calculate your percentage and reading the questions carefully to decide if you're going to be taking off that percentage price or adding on.